guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sitting down and doing an eyeshadow look using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This is one of my all-time favorite palettes. Um, I have gotten so much use out of it. I'm not really sure what look I am going to do today. I'm just going to kind of jump in and go for it. I do know that I want it to be fairly pink and I'm thinking about maybe like a little bit of gold on the lid. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. I already have my eyelids set down with white peach and peaches and cream. It's just these two shades right here. Just some matte shades to create a base for my lid. First thing I'm going to do is go in with a fluffy blending brush. This one is from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Collection. It is brush JH30. And I'm going to go in with the shade Nectar right here. It's like a shimmery goldish peach shade. And I just want that to be like a, a nice shimmery light transition shade. I think it'd be really pretty to have this behind the eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna blend that right into the crease and build it up to a color I like. So as you can see, it's just a really soft gold peach shade. Normally I don't put shimmer in the crease, but I'm going a little out of my comfort zone today. Next, I'm going to take a more precise crease brush and this is also from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Collection. It is the JH34. And I am going to go into Candied Peach. And we're gonna put that in my crease. And a little bit on my outer corner also. Did anyone else do one eye at a time? Like, I can't do that. It gives me anxiety thinking about like going in once I'm completely done with one eye and trying to get it to look the exact same on the other side. Is that just me or no? I try to copy exactly what I do on one eye and then move on to the other one before I go too far and forget how many times I went back in with one shade, you know what I mean? So when you're blending in your crease, you want to do a little bit of a swiping motion then also little circular motions. And honestly, the more time you spend blending the better your eyeshadow is going to look. I don't always have like all the time in the world to spend blending my eyeshadow, so that's okay if you don't have time. Just blend it as good as you can and go out the door, who cares? <laughs> Basically, I'm just doing this over and over again. Just keep building up the shade to get it as dark as you want it. I wanna build it up to be pretty dark today just because I want this to be a pretty drastic look. Next, I'm going in with an even more precise brush. This is my favorite eyeshadow brush for the outer corner. It's from Morphe and it's the R39. So it's pretty similar to that brush I just used, but this one is more flat, as you can see. This one is more rounded and fluffy. So I love this one for the outer corner. So I'm just taking that same shade just to intensify it more in the outer corner. Basically just packing it right on. And I am taking it all the way to the inner corner of my eye. I like doing that with my eyeshadows. I think that is about as deep as I want to go with this shade. So now with no product on this brush, I'm just going to go in and blend it furthermore and this is the JH30. It's just a really big fluffy brush. So I don't know I kind of wanted to do like a gold lid and I'm realizing that there really isn't one in this palette. I love the shade Luscious. That is my most used shade in this palette but I'll show you that I have it swatched here on my hand. This one right here. It's really pretty, but I don't think it goes with this eye look that I'm going for. Sorry, I tried keeping this look to one palette, but I do think I'm gonna go in with one shade from the Soft Glam palette. And I'm going to take Fairy, which is that gold shade right there. I really want a gold lid. It's because I was gonna do like a bright like white shimmery shade in the inner corner but I feel like I've done that before and I really want to try something different and the brush I always use for shimmer is from Sigma it's the eye shading brush number E55 it's just a flat shading brush it's kind of big I know a lot of people like using a smaller one to be more precise 
but I don't know, I've always used this one, so I've just gotten good at being precise with it. Sprayed it with some MAC Fix Plus. Exactly what I wanted, so I'm really happy I did that. <laughs> Now what I'm gonna do so it's not so harsh and it blends in with the pink better, I'm going to take that same R39 brush and take that candied peach color, that pink color, and just blend out the outer corner. And to get more um, on the inner corner of my eye with that pink, I'm gonna go in with this tiny brush that is the JH40, also from that Jaclyn Hill collection. Most of the brushes I use now are from that collection because I got so many of them. So if I ever say JH, it's from the Jaclyn Hill collection, if that didn't make sense already. To try to include the Sweet Peach palette more, I think I'm going to go in with that Luscious shade. And I think I'm going to try to put it in more in the center of my eye so it can fade to more of the rose gold to the pink. And for this one, I am going to use a more precise brush. This is also a JH brush. It is the JH42. So it's like a really tiny, precise brush. All right, then I'm just gonna blend over those two together lightly. Then I think it is time to move on to the lower lash line. So I'm using this JH43 brush. It's just a flat liner brush. And I am going to take that same pink candied peach shade and run that along my lower lash line. I want to add more, like a deeper color to my lower lash line just in the outer corners. So I'm going to go in with Summer Yum. Going in with that same tiny fluffy blending brush. I think I'm going to take a little bit of Peach Pit right above Summer Yum and put that in my outer corner as well on the lower lash line. I really want to try false eyelashes today, but I always hate how they look on me. Like, why? I put them on so many people and I love how they look and I put them on myself and I'm like... Let's put on some mascara and some lipstick. I'm going to apply my favorite mascara, which is the Lancome Monsieur Big. I'm usually like a drugstore mascara fanatic. I still love my drugstore mascaras, but I got this when Ulta had like their 21 Days of Beauty for only $10, so I was like, might as well buy it. It's the same price as a drugstore mascara right now. I bought it and I fell in love. It's a lot like the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's a lot like the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, so if you want a dupe for this, pick up that. I almost forgot to put on some inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight. So I'm taking my Makeup Revolution highlight palette, and I think it's called Incandescent. I'm taking these two shades, mixing them together, and putting that on my inner corner. And also applying it underneath my eyebrow. For lipstick, I'm just going to go in with this MAC lipstick in the shade. It's kind of sexy. Alright guys, so that is the finished look. want to branch out and start to do colorful looks with eyeshadow just to play and learn and have fun. That's what's so great about makeup. It washes off at the end of the day. It's all just for fun. It's so crazy when people get so offended by someone having like bright, crazy eyeshadow. It's like, it's just for fun. It's makeup. It's going to wash off. Everyone's going to be okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. If you want to see more eyeshadow videos, please give this video a thumbs up and also please subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs> my mouth is still numb when I try to do a kissy face. <laughs> Bye.